Hey, Mike. Thank you all for joining me today on Press Day. Eli? What's happening? How am I? How am I? Have I? We we not met before? Or did we? Do we this have one? met at a Red Sox game you? one time. That's right. Many many years ago at a Red Sox game. I knew it. I was so, like, I know this guy. They, uh, so yeah, thank you all for joining me today on Press Day for Extended Family. Well, I'm happy to be here. I couldn't have a more ridiculously poor background, but sorry, I guess my my background on Room Raider would be terrible. <laughs> hey, uh, so I, I had the opportunity to, uh, to watch the pilot uh, the other night, man. Uh, I like it, man. It feels like we haven't seen a, a sitcom based, like, you know, family sitcom like this in a few years now. And it, we finally have one in here. Uh, I know you've been in the game for a long time, too. Any pressure going into this as a creator and producer? Incredible pressure. Eli, here's the thing. The pressure is, is that, like, it's the, the two of the producers are Tom Werner from the Red Sox and Wick right. Grousebeck. And so at first you think I should do this because I can maybe get some better tickets and I can maybe get, uh, you know, a better access. Uh, and then you realize, oh, my God, this is pressure. It's like, you know, I don't want to be banned from Fenway. I don't want to be right. banned from TD Garden. It's like if I got to really deliver on this. And so the difference about working on a sitcom as a creator showrunner and working on a sitcom as a performer is that you can't really blame the quality on anyone other than yourself. And so even when you started the interview, you said, Hey, I saw it. It's, it's pretty good. You know, it's, it's like people, um, people have high expectations for sitcoms and they also have, they also have for sitcoms, an idea in their head. Like they either really love sitcoms or they really don't love sitcoms. And to execute at a high level, a multicam sitcom, you need incredible writing. You need a great premise and you need great actors. Uh, I will say that we have a great premise and we have great actors. I'm not going to brag about the writing. Uh, I think it's great. And I'm, I'm very proud of it. And I think we're really dialing into some, some great, circumstances and some great stories that take actually there's a there's an episode that's coming up I, have you only seen the first episode i was only given access to the first episode okay well they're going to give you access to two more and okay. soon they're going to give you an access to another one and one of them i'm i'm really i think is hilarious is that it's a story that i want to be I wanted to do for a long time where after this player blows a big shot at the end of the game they say why'd you do that and he goes Hey, don't blame me. Blame God. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> the so I think that the subject matter were because I've always thought when I see uh, when I see athletes and they're thanking God, I'm like, what is God? What does God think about the people who lost? He must God mm. and us not really like them right now. Uh, obviously joking, right? Um, but we want to be able to take a swing at some subject matter that you might not see otherwise i don't know if you have kids we have an episode coming up where you know my kids play Fortnite. i've got a 16 year old son but back when he was 11 12 years old he was playing Fortnite. anybody any of your viewers or listeners who are watching this who have any you know any kids this age they are playing this game and this game is about people running around in a you know visual world killing each other and uh this is what the majority of 11 year old boys are doing and uh there's been plenty of studies to show how um that doesn't necessarily correlate to any real life violence that being said we have an episode about the concerns about that so what we're really trying to do is take real life and what people are really talking about and what they're dealing with as parents and people in relationships and people at work and do funny sit, you know, do funny episodes yeah. and funny situations about that. That's what I think makes it relatable. You know, in the pilot episode, a goldfish, a pet goldfish dies. Yeah. What are we gonna do about that? Well, if your dad who's been tasked with taking care of this goldfish while your child has been away at summer camp and you've just recently got divorced, and the kid is having a little bit of a issue dealing with that a transition between divorced parents and or to, towards married parents and divorced parents. It can be a different thing that you might do. If you're still married, mm. you may tell a fib about what happened. Right. And you're also part of the writing room. I saw um, 
of the writing team um, now like whose ideas are mostly these based out of or is it just like you guys are taking turns let's try to throw something in let's see if it's funny yeah i mean what happens with the you know i wrote the pilot and then there's a writing staff that is coming up with all of the stories so yeah i do not come up with all of the stories we all work together on them it's really just you know in a sitcom you're trying to find opportunities for conflict that can be handled comedically and so people are just bringing in stories from their own lives uh like i said we have this episode about where you know a character because now that he's close to the owner of the boston celtics has access to a player and says what ends up being the wrong thing to that player Mm -hmm. now if you're just a regular sports fan, you have no access to the Celtics. Well, all of a sudden your ex-wife marries the owner of the Celtics. You can actually talk to uh, the coach. You could talk to Jason Tatum about his jump shot and you think you're helping him. Well, maybe you are, maybe you aren't. (laughs) That's the funny circumstance of this particular situation. Um, But it's really like a lot, a lot of folks out there are divorced and they want the best for their kids and they want to get along with their x and how do they do that saying that you want to do that is easier said than done so with the cast and everything i like the cast that you guys put it together but i was surprised when i saw this one certain person in there lenny clark i love that guy how did you pull that off well i know lenny for a long time lenny was in he he did a couple episodes of my last show survivor's remorse which was a show that i did with lebron james tom warner maverick carter and then we did four seasons of that on stars and Lenny came down and worked on it. And I just love him. I know him from doing a lot of charity events back in Boston. We both oftentimes in the, in the last 20 years have been MCs for different events and he's got such a big heart. And so we met at a bunch of those and then, you know, we just became pals and I just knew immediately comedically that I wanted his energy in the show. And he's just fantastic. He's amazing. I met him a few years ago, actually, just walking by and we we sat. He sat there and talked to me for like a half hour. Yeah, he's a really genuine, genuine guy. Amazing. Mike, I'm being cut off. So we got to end this. Uh, Thank you again for. uh, Hey, Eli, I'll make sure I'll make sure hit me up on uh, social media. We'll do a longer uh, we'll we'll connect and we'll do a longer interview. Yeah, we can definitely do that. I'll hit you. you, You're on Instagram. I'll I'll, I'm on. I'm mostly on Twitter is the best place to reach me. All right. We'll do. All right, Eli, thanks so much. And yeah, watch a few more episodes. I think you're going to dig this one. Will do. Have a great day.